Hello you all, welcome back to another video. My name is Ray Sean. For those of you who don't know me, people call me Ray. So in today's video, I will be giving you this look right here, this really glam look. I really like the way my makeup came out. Super cute, super glam, and yeah. But the kicker about this video is that everything on my face is 95% affordable. So everything is 95% affordable. So if you wanna see how I got this affordable glam makeup, Make sure that you keep on watching, but before we get started, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Click notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And if you are new here, welcome. And if you're just your first time seeing my videos, I hope that you like this video. And if you like what you see, then you can go ahead and subscribe too. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Starting off with my eyes, I'm going to be taking my Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer. And this one is in the shade number two. And I'm gonna be using this to prime my eyes. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to and to the eyeshadow. So for my eyes, I wanna do something cute and pretty. So I'm gonna be taking the NYX Ultimate Utopia palette. This is how the palette looks. So this palette does have 40 eyeshadows in it. It's a lot of eyeshadows. This palette does retail for $30, okay? It is pretty expensive for a NYX palette, I'm, if I do say so myself. But one thing I will say is that this palette has a lot of beautiful eyeshadows in it. Okay, so for my first shade, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I'm just gonna use this as my transition shade. As you can see, it came off extremely pigmented. Goodness, I hope I didn't. Extremely pigmented, like extremely pigmented. I don't even think I need to go back into this palette. I mean, you know, and dig it out again because it's super pigmented. I am hitting my napkin before I put it on my eyes because it's so pigmented. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with, okay, so for my next shade, I'm gonna go in with this color right here. This is a pretty matte purple shade. And I'm gonna use a different brush just in case I might have to do some blending. So let's see how pigmented this is. Definitely pigmented. And I'm just basically keeping this in my crease. This palette is very, very pigmented, like very pigmented. And I think they do still seal this palette. It is super, like when I say pigmented, super pigmented. So now I'm gonna go back in with that first shade I used just to kind of clean up my edges. And these colors blend together very well. They blend together very, very well. Like there is no patchiness. There is no um, skipping or anything like that. It's just this palette blends perfectly. So I'm gonna go back in with that purple shade just one more time to just deepen it up a little bit on the outer corners, bringing it in. I mean, it's the palette for me and I haven't used this palette in a minute, okay? I'm gonna go in with this color right here. This is like a charcoal color. I think it may be black, but it could be like just like a charcoal color. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this charcoal black color in my outer corners and slightly in my crease, just to kind of deepen it up a little bit. I don't want it to be too, too harsh. I'm just going for more of a glam um, makeup, like a glam, like Hollywood things kind of makeup. Um, I've been seeing girls on YouTube like kind of going out and like their hair is real cute and it's just real glammed, okay? So I want to be glam too. So we're gonna, that's why I got these earrings on. Got my little robe on because this is a little moment here. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this color right here. I'm gonna take this color and I'm gonna place it on my lid because it is a super cute color. So as you can see, I'm just packing this on my eyelid, just like this. Okay, 
This is basically the start of the show and I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer in clear. So this is how it looks. It looks just like this in the box. And now I'm going to take it outside of the box. Um, I had just heard too much mouth on YouTube mention it and I was like, okay, well, I need to try it because she basically said it was equivalent to the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. And you guys know that that's my, like one of my favorite primers. Like that is my favorite primer actually. And so, and I don't think that you can buy this in the store yet. If you can, then you can, I didn't know. Cause I was looking for it at Walmart. I didn't see it, but it may be at like a Target or Ulta Beauty. So anyways, um, this is how it looks out of the package. It's pretty small. I mean, but you only need a little bit, so it probably will be fine. So this is how it looks. It says, um, yeah, it's a power grip primer. So it's supposed to be a gripping primer. It definitely reminds me of the primer. This one off the bat feels a lot more gripping. It's a lot more tacky. Definitely giving off a smooth um, application. It's definitely giving me um, my makeup gonna be on, okay? I'm moving it around, I can feel, you know, it like tacky. But as far as just touching my face, just in general, it's a little tacky. I don't know, this might actually be the one, okay? This might be the one. So I'm gonna use a new foundation as well. Well, it's not new, but I have not used this before. So I'm going to try it out today. I have the Maybelline Fit Me um, Matte and Poreless Foundation. So I have one in the shade called 365 Nutmeg. And then I also have one in the shade called 370 um, Deep Bronze. So these are the two foundations here. And I think the one that I actually want to use is, I will always prefer to go darker rather than lighter, but I'm gonna see how um, 365 Nutmeg is going to look. And then I just might may add the um, three, 70. Now, if these have pumps, these will be so like amazing and so bomb. Oh, this foundation like it's been used. I'm just gonna put it. That, that looks pretty light. We're gonna stop right there because that's looking light. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the 370 because that one is looking light. Now, 370, this looks a little bit more, this looks a little bit more um, neutral. So I can definitely mix it. Like this is 370, this is 365, okay? So I'm gonna use 370 and I may use a little bit of 365 because I don't want it to be too like gray tone on my face, you yeah? know? Okay, so to blend this out, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. concealer sponge. I know that this is for concealer, but I'm gonna use it to blend out my foundation and I also will be using it for my concealer. This sponge is also new as well. This is what I picked up from e.l.f. Um, along with the primer. I know that, again, this is for your concealer, but I'm gonna use it for my foundation as well today. This sponge is extremely soft. When I say soft, extremely soft, I mean extremely soft. Like, I don't know, I really like it. It's super soft. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my concealer. So for my concealer, I'm going to be taking the Nika K Perfection Multi-Use Super Coverage Concealer. This is mine here, and this one is in the shade number nine. So I'm going to use this to put underneath my eyes, to breathe my nose, my forehead, everywhere. Um, everywhere I want, I want to be highlighted. This foundation for the coverage is definitely giving me like a medium, like a light to medium coverage. I, I didn't use a lot though, to be honest with you. I didn't like go ham. It may have looked like it, but I didn't use a lot of foundation at all. So now I'm just using this, this concealer sponge. It's so, it's so soft. It's extremely soft and very bouncy. Like super bouncy. This is not a, um, this is not affordable, but we move. <laughs> I 
did pick up this brush. This is the um, e.l.f. Buffing Foundation Brush. The e.l.f. Buffing Foundation Brush. Now, I did not mean to get this. I really meant to get the big e.l.f. Foundation Buffing Brush. The one that like Jackie Ina uses is not what I meant to get. I meant to get the bigger one. So I'm going to go ahead and use this to blend out my contour. Go back in with my sponge, just blend out all of this because that's what you're supposed to do. Just blend. It's gonna look crazy, but you have to blend. Okay. I'm gonna blend out my contour. Okay, so now I'm gonna use something else that's new. This is the Milani Sun Kiss Glow Cheek Kiss Cream Blush Blush Palette. And this is how the palette looks. I did use this already a couple of times. Um, I do believe I have one of the shades already as well. It's a little dirty. But I do believe I have one of the shades already, which I forget which one it is. I like to put my blush on top of my contour because I honestly feel like, you know, it's blush. So if I put it on first and then put the contour on, girl, that's not gonna work, okay? So anyways, so now that we have the blush, the everything on, now it's time to set this makeup. So to set my makeup, I'm gonna be taking the Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder. This one is in the shade Banana. This is how it looks. Again, this one is this is how it looks. So this does come with a um, little spongy. This is good for the girls who use those. This is how it looks. Now I'm just gonna take my sponge and go straight on in here and set underneath my eyes. Because I want the most pigment from this powder, I'm not gonna brush it on my um, towel or my hand like I would normally do. One thing I can say about this powder is that it's very smooth and it gives the perfect amount of brightness without it being too, too overly bright, if that makes sense. And it definitely does matte underneath the eyes too without it being too drying. So I do like that about this. You guys remember I used this powder in my other um, affordable makeup tutorial and I loved it. It was the bomb, okay? It was the bomb. Okay, so to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be taking my Beauty Bakery Bite Size Pinch of Flower Powder. This one is in the shade called Almond or Chestnut. This is how the powder looks. And I'm gonna take this to set my full face. This is a loose powder. Um, this is how it looks. I'm gonna take the Juvia's Place Bronze Palette in Deep Dark. Okay, so for my blush, I'm gonna take the Juvia's Place Blushed Rouge Palette Volume One. This stuff is definitely optional. Everybody don't need to do this and don't have to do it. I do this because I just like my face to look a little bit more structured. 
Um, this can look a little different on each person, but I just like to do this. I just do it because I'm extra. We are going to be using the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This is a newer spray. It's it's the same spray, but it's new because it's in a newer, bigger bottle. So you get six point, you get six fluid ounces. This is a lot of setting spray, which I absolutely love. And I did get this one from Walmart. Absolutely love it, like seriously. Okay, so for my highlight, I'm gonna take the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter, and I'm just going to use this to highlight my face. So now I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara called Cause I'm Black. So for my lips, I'm going to take my lip liner in the shade Tuscan Brown to line my lips. You guys know that you can shop this lip liner at oraybeauty.com. It is on sale. I'm having a 50% off sale. Now I'm gonna take my lip gloss in the shade Skin. I've been using this one a lot lately. And with this gloss, a little bit go a long way. You do not need a lot. As you can see, like literally that's it. So now I'm gonna be putting on my lashes. I'm going to um, take my lashes. These are in the shade Glamour Girl. This is how they look. And this is how they look coming out of the box. These are full thick mink lashes. Um, these definitely are some lashes that, if you like the thick strip lashes or thick strip um, lash extensions, you can definitely use these will definitely give you that full thick look i really like these lashes because they are full they do not shed um and you can have them up you can wear them up to like 20 times to be quite honest depending on how you take the glue off i mean these are some these are some pretty strong lashes they have a, a strong lash band um i should say and again you will have these lashes for a long time these lashes are on sale as well on my website so you can make sure you check that out i'm going to leave it down in the description box So as you can see, with the lash on, how it looks. And then this is how it looks with the lash off. So the volume is real, the thickness is real, the drama is real, lashes will take your look up 10 notches. Okay you all, so this is the finished look. Let's go ahead and talk about some of these products, okay? So the first product we're gonna talk about that is the, basically the star of the show because we want to know like is it good how my makeup look well, y'all let me know how my makeup look because in my peripheral from what i'm looking at it looks good um i do feel like my makeup yeah it looks good but we'll we'll get to each each point so as far as the elf grip primer i do like this primer um a lot i do feel like once i started putting it on it was definitely tacky on my skin my makeup looked like it's not going to move honestly like there's no shine except for the highlight that I put on my face. So again, my makeup looks like it's not going anywhere, which is a good thing because we are wearing masks. So I'm sure that this will, you know, look good and last on my skin. So I do like this primer. So as far as the Maybelline foundations are concerned, um, I'm, I'm not really trying to give a review to be quite honest, but like I said, this is my first time using this foundation. So, um, and I did use a little bit, so I didn't use a lot. It may have looked like it, but I did not go like in with this. I did not put on to me enough to be like, okay, this is full coverage. But um, I have used some of these on my clients before, so I do know that they can give off a full coverage look. Now, is it full coverage on me today? No, it's not, because I did not put on a lot of this foundation. So it's definitely giving me more of a light to medium coverage, because I can still see like, 
you know, I can still see my skin underneath this makeup. Like, if you can see, I can definitely still see my skin underneath this makeup, which is not a problem. I'm just letting you guys know that it's giving me light to medium coverage. So, you know, but I still like the foundation nonetheless. Next, um, you guys let me know if you've tried the Milani Cream Blush Palette. Um, I do like this palette a lot. You guys know I have one of these already. Not one of these, but one cream blush, a single cream blush from Milani, which I do like. And so I love the fact they came out with the palette because you get to try three different ones. I like Milani as a brand, so that's that. Next, Milani has this um, Milani Make It Last setting spray. This is the um, 16 hour wear setting spray. This is the big one. Now they do have a mattifying one and then they have a, a regular one like this, but in a smaller version. This is the big one. If you guys see this, make sure y'all pick it up because I can see this, me having this for like quite some time, like a long time. So I do like this a lot. I love the sprayer. It smells good. Nice, nice, nice setting spray. Next is the Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder. Now this is good. I do like this. Um, this is more of a lighter, thinner powder. So it's not going to give you like full coverage underneath the eyes. But I do feel like it gives off more of a, even, like a flawless kind of, like a filter look. That's the word I'm looking for. I do feel like it's giving me a filter look underneath the eyes. Do I wish it had a little bit more golden tone to it? Yes. It's a little bit more of a, like a neutral banana. It's not, you know, banana. And it's true with yellow form. It's giving off more of a neutral yellow. You know, if that makes sense. Almost like kind of ashy, but it still looks good nonetheless. I do like it. I like the fact that it sweeps away easily. It doesn't leave flashback. And, you know, I just like it. Some other stuff, which is, of course, like this palette. I've talked about this palette already. Y'all already know. I talked about this palette already from NYX. This palette is the bomb. If you haven't got your hands on this palette, I'm trying to figure out what you're waiting for because it's good. I know it's $30, but it's $30 worth, um, worth it for this palette. So, like, my eyes look good. They look good. So, um, I didn't add anything in between my eyes. What am I, what am I, what am I doing? Put something in between my eyes. Sure, if I didn't do that. What am I putting in between my eyes? Hmm, let's see. Uh, I'm going to add this little gold shade. I'm going to add this golden shade right here. <sighs> like, right here. Okay, so to the e.l.f. sponge, like, it's really dirty. I use it for my foundation, and I also use it for my concealer, so she is dirty, okay? She's not dirty, but she got makeup on it. Um, wish that they would make this in the black or brown. That would be perfect. It would just be more appealing to look at. That's why I'm saying that. Other than that, this is a very squishy, very soft sponge. It is beautiful. I wish that it was a little bit bigger. It's a little bit small. I know it's for underneath the eyes, but I wish they would made it, make it um, like a medium size and then like a big size. Or just make it, make it make another one, but make it bigger, you know? I like the fact that it's very soft. It blends out beautifully. It blends out beautifully and it leaves no streaks, no lines whatsoever. I like it a lot. Maybe I should have used a foundation brush to blend out my foundation. And I, I may have, I probably would have seen more pigment in the foundation. So they may have been on the sponge. You know what I'm saying? So we'll just leave it there with that one. Anyway, you all, this is the end of the tutorial. I hope that you all enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Let me know down in the comments what you liked about this look. Let me know um, if you try any of these products. Do you like it? Like, you know, what's tea, what's going on? So, um, yeah, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you are not already. Click notification bell so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you all. Bye.